Um, the yeah. main topic this week is ranking our top five Premier League managers of all time. In order. In order, yeah. yeah. Are we doing honourable mentions before or after? I've not got any honourable mentions. I have mentions. no honourable mentions. I've just got a top five. Chris Wilder was close, but he's yeah. not. Yeah, I just of had course. one, one honourable mention. Okay. Okay. Honourable mention. Go on, Bill, bring him up. Um, just missed out, so it was Paul Jewell. Paul Jewell? Just missed, out, just missed out the top five. Paul Jewell. Uh, managed Derby County to a record... <laughs> 11 eight points. points. It was 11? 8 points, 11 points. Was he at Wigan in the Premier League? He was at Wigan. Did he, he didn't win the FA Cup with Wigan, did he? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, maybe he did. No. no but I honestly did he keep Bradford City or relegated? <laughs> I thought, please, no. Did he keep Bradford City? He kept Bradford City or did he pull? We're going back too far. Yeah, we are going back. I was going to say, this is way before Man and Tom's side. Yeah. Tom yeah. We're struggling. I feel like all five managers... Uh, Could be the same. Yeah, so you are struggling with that age group, age when I yeah. I need, I need to try and keep it more relevant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, the the older view viewers are yeah, Paul Exactly, Jewel. yeah, definitely. <laughs> what a job Alf Ramsey did before he did. <laughs> 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 switch. Yeah, I, I think I think the five could be similar. I think it the just five, depends. I think the five are exactly the same for everybody. Do you? Yeah, there's, there's, I was looking who's sixth and seventh. You haven't really got many people, really. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, let's go Let's go five and four. Ash, do you want to start? Five yeah, and so four. I found it difficult to say, are we doing. The top five managers, as in the who are the best managers, or who have done the best in the Premier League. So I've gone yeah, for so a bit of a mix. Okay. Okay. That's all right. I like, I like this. It. So number five, no bias. I put Marcello Bielsa. And then, <laughs> <laughs> uh, number four, I put. Oh, it was it was very tight, but I put Jose Mourinho. Okay. Nice. Bielsa at fifth. I like that. Fifth, Why? I've got Jurgen Klopp. Fourth, I have got Mourinho. Fifth, you've gone Klopp. Mm. Correct. Fourth, you've gone Marino. Correct. I have gone... But this is really, really tough. And I've kind of gone back and forth a few times here. I have put Klopp over Mourinho. So I've gone Jose at fifth and Klopp at fourth. Wow, okay. And I will That's explain right. why I've gone Klopp over Mourinho. Well, just missing out for me, you've got Claudio Ranieri, for obvious reasons. Mm. Yeah. With the One squad season. he did it with. Yep. And Carlo Ancelotti. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But fifth, There's I've got... One, sorry, quick, quick, um, oh, Mancini. Mancini. I think Mancini yeah, deserves yeah, a bit of, of a... Yeah. He had a really good win ratio. Well, was Ancelotti that good in the Premier League? He, he had one good... He had, he had a great <sighs> season for Chelsea, didn't he, I think? Yeah, but... Again, the if you best go and of Everton. all... Yeah, he wasn't good for Everton, though, was he? What was it, top at Christmas? Oh, where did they finish? Didn't know. he leave? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure he left or something. Madrid I mean, to Madrid. Yeah. <laughs> Madrid. Yeah. I mean, um, Champions League, uh, Champions League wise, potentially, but Premier League. That's I'm why not. They, uh, yeah, that's why he's I'm not out. even sure if he's an honourable mention. He's a great manager, but Conte. You hear that, Don Carlo? <laughs> don't, he, he don't rate you, Tom John. Conte. Conte was excellent for Chelsea. Yeah, his but then win, he was, his, his win ratio is awful. Yeah. 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 Remember Goose Hiddink at Goose Chelsea? Hiddink. Yeah, what? Goose. Do you call him Goose? Goose. Isn't it Goose? Double U. Double. There's two U's also, in there. I think, there's a man, I think there is a man we're missing out a little bit on honourable mention. Go on, Rafa Benitez. Mm, yeah, but again, didn't win it. Was he, he more Premier League or was he more? Is he more renowned did for the Champions? Not win the Champions League. league? Yeah, but oh, the Champions, Champions League, league though. It's not he's Premier League. He didn't win the Premier League. How are you going to include Come on, Bill. Well, I stuck top Bielsa five in here. Managers. If you're going off is just Bielsa who's actually the best in the top five, I stuck him at five. Yeah. If you're going off the best, no, he put Bielsa in. Why are you putting so low? Who's your five? Sorry, Tom. The fifth, I've got our mate. Jürgen, Jürgen Klopp in fifth. And fourth, I've got Arsene Wenger. Ooh, not Dis sure about there. that. <sighs> not sure about that. I think fifth and fourth, Mourinho Klopp is... At it. Listen, I love the Bielsa shout. I've put Bielsa in. in. When Leeds got promoted, he was voted... Was it third in was, the yeah. FIFA best coach in the world? In was, the world. Yeah. Who, Who else was? Pep and... Yeah, Pep's on my list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> hope so. And but who Cal else? Did get? It might have been Cal and Charlie. Might have Poch. been Poch. Been Poch was it yeah. Poch, was it? No, sorry. Well, it, yeah. Sorry. I when when they also got third in the best managers in the world, who else was in it? It was... It was oh, Pep. was it Zidane? It yeah, might have been Zidane. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Zidane. I think <coughs> it was. It might not have been. I mean, I mean Ash, like, I, I love Bielsa. <laughs> yeah, so... You've got, you've got a big task here to try <laughs> to try and justify <laughs> this one, if I'm honest. <laughs> what he did with Leeds, wait, with it, with it, Mid table to bottom of the half, you know, bottom of the yeah championship, championship side. side. Got Bamford a cap. We beat Man City <sighs> at the Etihad. I mean, Leeds beat Man City at the Etihad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was they mental, had so many it? good results. They yeah. played such good football. He could, and everybody in the Premier League wanted Marcelo Bielsa as their manager. I'm quite excited to see who you've not got in the top five yeah. in place of Bielsa. It was tricky. It was tricky. <laughs> I, I um, think I could know. Wenger, Wenger in fourth. That's that's well, very well, very. Well, I'll go into I'll go into my number three. So obviously I've got Jose Mourinho above him. 
Same number of Premier League titles, but I think that conceding 15 goals in a season was a better achievement than Wenger's invincible season. How? I, <laughs> 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 you can't say that. I, I, th- that is a, a fantastic, fantastic feat. I, I agree. 15. But, but zero losses. But in yeah. The season. It, yeah. How many draws are? You're right. Okay. <laughs> they both got. They both got the same Premier League titles, three each. How many FA Cups, Wenger to? I'm sure Wenger's got more. Wenger to Mourinho. It was there. Oh, oh yeah, no, to be fair, the FA Cup was definitely Arsenal's cup for... for and years, also, right? Wenger changed the English game. Yeah. Mourinho didn't change the English game. Wenger came in and was uh, was the first man to bring in nutritionists and do all the, the stuff that the foreign managers eventually came on to do. Whereas Mourinho is, Mourinho is fantastic. He's a winner. Um, the chosen one, the special one. And I think he's... A, a, obviously, he's in my fourth, but I just think Wenger... Wenger, Wenger yeah, Wenger was three for me. Wenger was three for me, and yeah. yeah, the reason is he changed the way the Premier that the teams behaved in the Premier League because he came in and was successful, and other teams were like, right, now we follow him because yeah. he's the one that's sort of done the blueprint for the way that teams became better in that late nineties to early two thousand era. The last era. two seasons under Wenger, they finished it. They finished in the Champions League yeah. spots every season, under which him. is ridiculous with Marouane Shamak up front. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the squads he had uh, seven seven FA Cups. For Wenger, one for Mourinho. Yeah. I'm not saying that that's the kicker, but they've got the same <laughs> number of Champions Premier Leagues. Got the same number of Champions Leagues, which is zero. I think if Wenger did have, win a Champions League, I know he's kind of nowhere near it, really. I know he had the one game against Barcelona, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think if he won the Champions League, I think he'd be looked at in a different light. I think not winning that is... I think Wenger's a bit overlooked. Yeah, you have said like he's different like there. But third yeah, he's third for me. He's third for me. But I mean, he's in, in, in terms of, especially now, I, I think just he was... In his heyday, he was ridiculous. Like I say, he changed the way that the, Eng- the English game was. Like, and, also, and how, many, how many seasons did Wenger have at Arsenal compared to Jose Mourinho? Yeah, but Wenger changed it as soon as he came. Look, and like also Man City now win the league every year and people say it's boring. Man United won the league every year. Yeah. And Blackburn won it once. If Blackburn hadn't won it, it would have been Man U, Man yeah. U, Man U. They'd have won it about eight years yeah. in a row or something stupid. And Ven- that, Wenger changed it. Also. And that rivalry between Man United versus... Oh, oh another fine... Yeah. <laughs> Have we got that, a yellow card? Yeah, oh, we need him. <laughs> no, well, that'd be a red. It's a second offence. Um, and that rivalry between Man United and Arsenal was so good for those years oh, yeah, because absolutely. of Wenger. Um, and I think, I think, I think the, the kind of the way to sum up the whole Wenger thing is, is you know, he's had an invincible season, and no other manager in the world can say that. I think yeah. he, he mani- he's managed the most Javier Champions Alonso. League. No, in the Premier League. Yeah. Um, we're talking about the Premier League's greatest managers. Not yeah, come on. Sorry, yeah. I do apologise. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think he's managed the most amount of Premier League games ever, hasn't he? Arsene Wenger. And he's I also... Managed games managed of, I think he's managed And I also Fergie. do think the, the fact that he managed to get top four for Arsenal for so, many ye- for so many years with the team that he had, like, let's be honest, towards the latter stages of his Arsenal career... That team was not a good side. I remember looking at a team and him having Andre Santos at left back. Um, he had, like I say, Shamak up front. Yeah, like um, Benayoun. Although Benayoun ben was Ayoun. a great player. Oh, oh, that's a bit harsh. No, no, but they've got him in from was a great player. But you're right. From Chelsea. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, they were just getting all so, Yeah, yeah they've got all the um, Chelsea The reason rejects, why I've gone, sorry, let's backtrack to Klopp. The reason why I've gone Klopp over Mourinho. Oh, yes. For me. And it's a really, really tough one, this one. I've, I've, I, he's won the <laughs> Champions League. He's won the Champions League, and I think I think what he's done to Liverpool, he stayed there the longevity. How much he's kind of just completely transformed that whole football club into winners. How much money have they spent? I mean, yeah, but I'm sure Chelsea spent a lot of money at that particular time. Yeah, you're right. Under Mourinho, yeah, you are right. Um, and I think if it wasn't for the Man City juggernaut, I think Liverpool would have had more Premier League titles as well. I think it's a really interesting one. You, you could debate Mourinho or Klopp. You could debate it all night, I, really. But I, I've just put Klopp ahead of him because. Mourinho never won the Champions League with Chelsea or, or Man United. I'll be honest as well. I think probably the reason Klopp is fifth for probably some people over Mourinho is just the likability factor. I don't think many people like Klopp, whereas Mourinho is quite a. He, he was a breath of fresh air to the Premier League, wasn't he, Mourinho? Yeah, and he came and, in and he really yeah, and he's just he's he's just, yeah, he's cool, one. isn't he? He's just the the guy that comes in. And he's and what did Klopp call himself? When he said that, when he came in, he called himself the normal one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and he, and yeah, and he just, I don't think, unless you're a Liverpool fan, listen, I think if you're a Liverpool fan, he, he's fantastic, similar to what Bielsa was with us for Leeds. But if you're any other fan <laughs> of a club... I believe you put Bielsa. I know, that's fantastic. Who, who, who's missed out? Have you got no hose? Klopp. Just, you got rid of Klopp. Klopp. <laughs> <laughs> what was it you said in the first episode? Don't dislike anyone. I don't dislike anyone. 
I'm a nice guy. Um, judge people on merit. There you go. Full Top stop. two. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I've gone Pep, number two, and I've gone Fergie. Wow. Have you? What do you mean, yeah. wow? You oh. put Fergie number one over oh, Pep. Grow yeah. up, Pep exactly. is the greatest manager of all time grow ever. Up, mate. Have you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you, are you actually serious right have now? Have you put Pep number one? Pep Guardiola is number one. Ferguson. Pep Guardiola is yeah. number yeah. one. You, you, can tell, you can tell you're a youngster. He's got 150. You can tell you at there. Really Pep mate. Guardiola is num- is the best manager in the Jack, history of Jack, football. Jack, Jack, Jack. When you were around, I will die on this Jack. hill. Nah. When you were around in the nineties and you were watching football in the nineties, you were watching Man United dominate. As people were watching, you know, it was similar age to us. Watching that Man United team. Um, like it's not even up for debate. It's not even up for debate. I think Pep is not better than Fergie. You're, you're gonna you're gonna get pelted. I don't agree. I don't, in the Premier League, how yeah, many Premier League players has Guardiola got? Five, six. Yeah. How many? Is but how long's Pep Guardiola been there for? How long was Fergie at Man United for? Look, I I think Pep Guardiola has completely changed football and how it's played. Every single team across what. the world exactly plays football differently. But but Sir Alex Ferguson is the greatest manager in the Premier League. Fergie no, changed with the times. Yeah. I'm not a Man United fan by any, but he changed with the times. He won he won the league in '93 and he won the league in 2011. I so I yeah. uh, the reason I've gone yeah. Pep is because I genuinely had this conversation with my friends in the airport yesterday, the top five managers of all time, and the Man United fans said that Pep is better than Fergie. How old are they? Well, they're wrong. Four. <laughs> 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 no, but I'm saying if they're not if they're, if, they're not, if they've not seen Man United in the '90s. And they're used to yeah, seeing Man United there. Then yeah, I can see why they're doing even that. Even look at but look at the teams that Man United were fielding and winning. Like they were playing such poor players. Thirteen in the league team. titles with the likes of Michael Carrick and Darren Fletcher yeah, exactly. in midfield. Ooh, that's a bit harsh. Yeah, for Michael yeah. I was going to say they're not bad Michael footballers. Carrick. Michael Carrick is what, compared to Rodri and De Bruyne. Yeah, but it's different eras. The way that they play football, like Bill just said, football's changed now. If you put Rodri in like, playing against them lot back then. He's probably not going to be as good as he is in this situation think, now with Pep as his Pep manager. Guardiola, you could argue, is the most influential football manager that's ever lived in terms of what he's to make done, him the best. In terms of no influential football manager across the whole world, in terms of what he's done football. He, uh, you've got like you know we've got Crawley playing out from the back, playing exactly what Pep has just completely done with Barcelona yeah. when he first started. But in terms of achievements and the best manager in the Premier League, Sir Ferguson will always be number one. I think. R- really, yeah, Pep yeah, could yeah. stay he, on and it was, it win thirteen team. titles, and he still wouldn't be as good as Fergie. Because but you've just well, said well, 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 you've just sure said that. there <laughs> he has changed. No, he's absolutely changed the world of football from the top divisions to literally like step six that yeah, I play. Oh yeah, 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 I, yeah. We play out from the back. Yeah, yeah. Because of the way he plays football, how can he not? Uh, I just don't get that. How can he not be the best manager ever? Because he's changed the way that football is. Like I said, like you know, titles from '93 all the way up to the 2000s. He's completely trans. He's he got rid of players at their peak. He got rid of Roy Keane. He got rid of Beckham. He got rid of these players who people couldn't believe they you know even considering getting rid of. He must have rebuilt that team, four five different kind of yeah. waves of players, and he still kept on winning. Like it's just the the, the achievements of what he did. He like handled he, every aspect. He handled the players, the media, the referees, everything. He could. He was, and you can say Pep yeah. can, but. Okay, so uh, if the question, the okay, then uh, all right, let me just quickly change the question. If it was of all time, not Premier League, of all time, are you still saying Fergie? What do you mean across different leagues? Across everything in in football, yeah, across all leagues, all competitions, he's still saying yes. Fergie. I don't think Alex Ferguson is the best manager ever in the history of football. No, so who is? Who is? Well, that, I, I need a little bit more time to. I think Sir Alex Pep is the best manager. Of all I think. Time. I think if the question is, I think if the question is. Who's the best manager of all time? I think Pep is probably higher than Sir Alex Ferguson on that. No, question. I disagree. Because the stuff he's done for Barcelona, the stuff he's done for Bayern Munich, the Champions Leagues he's won. But if you're asking me who's the best manager in the Premier League history, it's, it's Sir Alex Ferguson. I agree. Okay. Okay. Well, listen. Well, I'll put it in the comments. Yeah, I was Let's about to say. Yes. Yeah. Let us yeah. know what your thoughts yeah. are. Um, maybe, maybe it is my youth. I think it is, yeah. I think if, you, if you were there seeing Man United dominate from which they did. Right, yeah, in the comments, let's see. Who, who do you the think is higher? The black and white TV is back with you two. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make, make a joke of teletext. And I realized yeah. That's actually how I actually watched yeah, the scores. <laughs> <laughs> I, <can't, laughs> I, <can't, laughs> I remember being about six or seven and my dad on the teletext. Yeah. I genuinely remember that. You have to wait for page three to come back round and see if your goal's going <laughs> <laughs>